Like, he just whoop, goes in. And I'm like, I swear to God, for half a second, I'm like, well, this wasn't bad at all. And then, oh! and then you, you completely freeze. As someone approaching 40 now, excited for colonoscopies, colonoscopies I don't want. But I mean, I've already, I've already been fisted in my ass. You know, uh, when I turned, uh, when I was about to turn 30, like 29, I had some like, g let's just say general anxiety. I'm in a much better place since a few years back. Uh, not that I was a total wreck back then, but I had some, let's just say, general anxiety, and uh, it manifested itself a little bit. My my uh, my youngest brother got this as well, where you turn a little bit into a hypochondriac. We've had a lot of disease in the family. My mom died when I was 14. I mean, I'm I'm 39 in October. She died at 42. In three years, I'll be as old as she ever was, which is. Interesting. Um, but so there's this scare, you know, that we're gonna get sick or something. You know, she got a very severe form of, of cancer and it was genetic. She didn't bring it along due to, you know, smoking or super unhealthy lifestyle. Genetically predisposed. So, you know, there's, there are things to worry about. Um, but so, so I, I, I turned into, when I was 29, I was like a super fucking hypochondriac. Super hypochondriac. And then I just got <laughs> some strain close to my hip. And I was like, oh, I have prostate cancer. Like, if you know anything about these things, like getting prostate cancer at that age, it's like, yeah, doesn't really happen. Uh, oh, it's, it's all right, guys. That was a very, very long time ago. It's all right. But so... I shit you not, I went like, uh, <laughs> I went three times in total with this to the, to the ER. Not, not to my local, like, you know, visit your doctor. I went to actually the emergency room. I have prostate cancer! Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I can't tell you how, how fed up the doctors were with me, even on day one. Because we actually had people there who were really sick. And I was like, no, no, check this shit. And I pulled down my pants. Check this shit. You know. Uh, and uh, I still remember. I, I, I shit you not. This is how worried and fucked up I was. I went on Christmas Eve. I was so... And I, f I feel bad for main man back then. I really do. Because that, that was not fun. Having uh, that type of anxiety. You know. Like, I haven't had that for like... Fucking 10 years, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Christmas Eve, I was like, oh, dad, uh, save some food for me. I'm going to be late. I'm going to the ER. And my dad's like, okay, you know, and then I go there and then I, I meet the doctor and I'm like, dude, I got prostate cancer, man. And he's like, You're, I, I can just look at, I can look at you and tell you don't have prostate cancer. He, he legit told me that. And I was like. No, no, I'm super worried. I'm super, can't you check? I'm so worried. And, <laughs> and he's like, no, you don't have it. And I can't tell you how much you don't want me to give you the exam. Trust me, you don't want to lie down on this fucking table and have me digging. You know, you should probably just go home and celebrate Christmas. And I'm like... I'm ready to pull down my pants. We're like halfway down. I'm like, okay. And so I gave up on it. But then, you, you know it works when you have this fixed uh, anxiety idea. I go home, celebrate Christmas. But 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 I can't I can't give it a rest. Like I'm still I'm still so worked up and nervous about this. Uh, but only a week later, I'm back to not the ER, but this time I go to the g general. Uh, practitioner doctor's office uh, where people wait in line you know and there's mo mostly old women you know who oh my toenail hurts doctor that sort of stuff and it's completely full it's completely fucking packed uh, and that and then I get uh, <clears throat> it's my turn I go in and he's like 
<laughs> this time it's a, uh, the first doctor at the ER, he was an older man. Th this guy, this guy was uh, younger, but of course with my luck, because I decided this is the day I'm getting fisted up my ass. Like I need this to go away, someone has to check my prostate because I'm so worked up about this. And of course he's a young guy and of course he's a fucking giant. Like, if he, this dude could do WWE, you know, like old school wrestling because his fingers were, were like double, double the size of mine in thickness. And I'm a pretty big guy. And I'm like, oh, of course. It's just the far, farmer's son who decided to not do farming anymore, break his dad's heart, he becomes a doctor. But he's got that farmer boy build and I'm like, oh, of course. It couldn't have been a petite, sexy lady or something. No. Uh, but uh, th th this is kind of gonna come off like a Hollywood movie because it's uh, everything just lines up perfectly But I swear to god this happened. I'm like I convinced him to fist my ass because he also he didn't no one wants to fist my ass I'm pleading please fist me and, and check my prostate because he's also coming up with every fucking excuse He's like no, you're too young. You don't have this. There's too many people in the line. We shouldn't do this I have so much to do no, no, please don't. <laughs> he really doesn't want to finger bang me, you know. And then eventually, you can tell I'm so worried. He's like, oh my fucking god. We're not gonna find shit, but okay, I'll, I'll fucking do it. Okay, so get down there, you know. <laughs> Lie down on your side. And I'm like, wait, now I'm nervous. I, I need to take a shit first. And he's like... <laughs> you can't... I I don't I know it sounds like a joke, but this happened. I was so you know I feel bad for me. I was super nervous, you know, and I had a nervous nervous stomach, so I needed to take a shit. And he's like, "Oh my fucking god, okay, go go take your fucking shit." And then you saw there's a lot of people outside, so stand outside the door, wait, wait un until I'm I'm done with that patient, the what person I'm with, and then go in, and I'm like, okay. And then I go to the toilet, and then it's it's Swedish style. Like, I, I don't know why, I must have been so nervous, because I, I shat so much. I'm a good shitter in general, but this was like... I, it must have been this nervous effect. Yeah, I just started shitting like an elephant. And then, you know, it's like, it's Swedish style. You know, pe people in Sweden don't talk. If you ever go to Sweden, you'll notice that on trains, buses, everywhere you go, people don't talk. People just sit like this. So, okay, yeah, I told you it was, a f it was full, right? So what happens, I go to the toilet. I sit on the toilet and right outside, there's like 80 people sitting. And it's not like there's a lot of space between the toilet and the people. They're just packed against the wall. So everyone's hearing me, you know mutilate this toilet, right? And I go at it for a super long time, and then I feel bad for the doctor because my ass is just covered in shit. And uh, this is, <laughs> and this is, I wonder if everyone gets this nervous thing because it's my, my, my friend is a doctor, one of my best friends, he's a great guy, but he says, I don't know what it is with fucking people because every fucking person I have to check their asshole it's always covered in shit. And he's like, I worry about people's hygiene. And his favorite is when it's covered in shit, and then there's like pieces of toilet paper stuck to the fucking bunghole, and he's just like... And you know, the patient can't see it. They're always on their side, so he does the gag like this. And then he's, you know, you don't want to embarrass the patient, so he goes... Oh, and then he goes up and he, he has his poker face. Mr. Anderson, yeah. Um, but so yeah, I'm, I'm shitting the toilet into pieces and then I start wiping my ass and I'm like, well, this ain't gonna be enough because my ass is just so fucking shitty. So I, 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 I start adding water in the tap, like the people outside must be thinking I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? I add water and I'm just like, ah, oh, and, and then I, I feel like, okay, this is as good as I can do without the fucking shower. And then I get back there and I feel a bit bad because I think my ass is still probably a bit fucked up, you know, uh, but I'm like, okay. Uh, so, so I get in there and he's like, okay, let's get going. He puts on his fucking glove, 
And I'm not even that nervous because, I mean, normally you don't want to, it's exit only for me downstairs, you know, but it's like, I'm so fucking nervous about this whole thing. And I just don't want, I just want the anxiety to go away. So I, he's like, okay, lie down on your side. So I lie down. And then he, he's so, he's so fucking fed up with me that he does this very quickly. Like he just whoop, goes in and I'm like, I swear to God, for half a second, I'm like, well, this wasn't bad at all. And then, oh, and then you, you completely freeze. Like, it, he slides in, and I, I re really, it's like, oh, this ain't bad. This doesn't live up to the hype, but as soon as he hits that ceiling, it's just like, you, you completely tense up. Completely tense up, and I'm like this. And then he, he feels around. He doesn't really widen up my bunghole like this, but but he he, he feels around, and then uh, he he comes out quickly, and then he just says everything's in the order, no problems, prostate feels very healthy and great, uh, and that's it, yeah. And then I uh, well maybe anticlimactic ending, but uh, yeah. And after that, I never felt bad about my prostate again. And uh, any time, <laughs> any time I had back pain, I didn't think that I was coming down with cancer or anything. Um, but uh, yeah, it's 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 funny how that works. How if you're a hypochondriac enough, you can be, you can be extremely healthy and. Uh, yeah, you can uh, start convincing yourself that you're you're dying from cancer. No, he didn't compliment my ass. But every once in a while, I think if he did what my friend does, if if was I the guy, I was probably the guy with toilet paper stuck to the bunghole, and he went and then poker faced me. I wish he would have been upfront with me if I had the toilet paper ass, but he would have told me. You know, I, I feel like we were tight after that.